Hey guys, we are back and uh, we're working on HVAC and, and we're routing duct work right now. We're in the crawl space. Um, I'm sitting here in front of my uh, HRV, so that's a heat recovery ventilator. And if you're not familiar with those, um, they, they bring fresh air into the house and they exchange it with the um, exhaust coming out of the house and it tempers the air um, before it comes in. So like in the winter when you're sucking fresh air in, it's actually tempering the outside fresh air coming in with the warm air. They don't actually mix, but there's a heat exchanger in there. And so um, it recovers some of the heat out of the air. And that way the air that you're bringing in fresh isn't super freezing cold and um, make your energy bills go up because you're bringing in all this cold air, like a big hole in your house. So that's the point of this. Um, this provides fresh air to all of the living spaces. So um, it, it brings fresh air to both living rooms, the loft, and the bedrooms. And then it exhausts out of the bathrooms, uh, the utility room. It'll pull some out of the crawl space. Um, since this will be a sealed crawl space, it it's shares air with uh, the upstairs. Um, and then it also pulls out of the kitchen and so that, that air all gets exhausted through here, exchanged with the fresh air coming in and, and goes outside. So um, uh, this does not draw air from the range hood. It just draws from the kitchen air in general. Um, you're not supposed to route your range hood exhaust through these because uh, the grease can mess it up. So um, we're actually exhausting through a toe kick in the kitchen. Um, so hopefully we won't get a lot of the grease and that kind of stuff. Um, but we're not, we're not near the, the stove at the cooktop. Um, you can see behind me, I've got, um, this is the fresh air pipe that's coming in. Um, and then over here behind that pony wall, we've got the exhaust air going out. So those have already been routed. They're not connected up to this yet. Um, this will have flex connections going to it and um, the ducts have all been sealed, these ones that are installed, but we still have to run um, our two that come off of this end, which is the exhaust that pulls area, pulls from the areas I mentioned before, and then this bottom one is the supply that goes um, and distributes out um, to those places. So um, I'm gonna try to get a bunch of this on film. I haven't been getting a lot of uh, work in progress on film. Um, it's kind of slow and boring, but this is all of our HVAC ducting that we have to do. Um, now, we have already routed, we have six mini splits that we're putting in here uh, with two head units. Um, we've already run the refrigeration piping, the, the line sets for those. Um, and I've built the stand for one of the outside units, the second outside unit. Um, mounts on the wall up high. Uh, that one's for the loft. Um, but not a whole lot of HVAC going in here. And as you guys have seen in previous videos, we've run the gas piping and I've already had my two um, gas propane uh, fireplaces inspected. So that's all been inspected already. So um, this, is, this is where we're at. So stick around and enjoy.
we had poured this pad a while back for the air conditioning stuff. And that's our main um, outdoor unit that'll power our, our five of our mini splits. And then we have one more unit that's smaller uh, that is dedicated to the loft. And we were going to mount it way up there on the wall in the peak. Um, but we changed our minds. A couple of different reasons for that. Um, maintenance was one. We don't want to have to go up there every time we need to maintain it um, or do any work on it because we pretty much need a lift. No ladders can reach up that high. And then uh, the other reason is the wall vibration. When you have the, the unit running, we didn't want the noise transferring into the house. So um, we decided to extend this pad a little bit so we can mount these side by side. Um, we have the stand for that one that I built, and then I've got to build another stand over here, but we're gonna prep this area right here and pour another extension onto that pad. And so the first thing we gotta do, so I scrubbed this area, or I grubbed this area, flattened it out, but we wanna dowel into that slab and we wanna dowel into the, the foundation wall so that um, if there's any settling at all, we don't get different, um, our pads don't settle at different rates and how we have a, a step right there and we don't want it to slide down in the back we want to maintain a slope so any moisture runs away from the building so that's what we're doing here um, we'll also take you inside we're almost wrapped up on the hvac and uh, we've the kids are in there working on the electrical which we've started doing and so we're hoping to have everything insulated at least the exterior insulated um, before the end of the summer. So that's kind of the goal. I've been getting quotes for spray foam, which is substantially more expensive than it was back in 2010 or 2020 when I got the first quotes. Um, so that's it. So I hope you enjoy the, the show and get a little bit of an update.
right, so we've got the AC units in and um, all the line sets are connected out here. All the wirings run. Um, the only thing that's not connected are these. They go to each mini split inside. So uh, we got them all neat and tidy there. So originally we were gonna have the one big one down here on the pad. I think I mentioned this before. And the small one is actually for the loft. And it was gonna go way up in the peak up there. But we thought it'd be better for maintenance and everything to put it down here. So um, we poured that little pad, which you guys saw, and we've got everything all mounted up. Okay guys, so um, 
This is kind of a culmination of a bunch of video clips. Uh, it's taken over a long period of time. Uh, but just wanted to do a final wrap up here. Um, most of this, we've been slow on videos a lot recently uh, because we've been, we've been doing plumbing, HVAC, and electrical. And uh, I guess you can only watch pulling wires and doing duct work and stuff like that so much before it gets pretty boring. Um, but it's taken us months. I mean, we, we've started, I think it was last fall we were doing plumbing in here. Um, through the freezing and so now here it is August, um, almost September now. And we're happy to say that we've had all of our inspections and we passed. And so uh, this, so just after Labor Day, we've got spray foam scheduled to come in. Uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty exciting, it's a little daunting. I mean, it's gonna be weird because we've been working on this stuff for so long that it doesn't really show much progress. And so, uh, It'll be nice to finally start putting stuff up on walls. Um, we're having the exterior um, spray foamed all the way up to the, the roof rafters and everything. And then we're gonna come in and do rock wool. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with rock wool at all, but it's a, it's a mineral wool insulation. It's basically made of rocks. Uh, it's really easy to work with. It's, it doesn't mold, uh, rodents don't like it. Um, so you guys, if you've been following our our stuff here, you know, we, we started this whole project basically because we had so many rodents infiltrating and there were some other issues too, but, um, so we're, we're, uh, it's fireproof, but we want to do all the interior walls for sound dampening. Um, so once the spray foam comes in, we'll go through and seal all the doors and windows. We'll get everything all, um, on the exterior basically done and, and wrapped up. And then that way this winter and hopefully, Hopefully we can get done this year or soon into next year. Uh, that's, that's what we're shooting for. We'll get everything sealed up and uh, get the interior walls insulated. And then we're gonna start putting wall coverings up. So uh, there was a point in time here since we've started the barn that we didn't do anything for like a year. Um, so yeah, it's just been, it's been hit and miss. So knowing that we were gonna get this all done, uh, spray foamed in the barn, uh, we actually did a bunch of work on our the main house crawl space um, because we were getting rodents in there and um, we didn't realize how bad it was because when we first bought the house there was evidence uh, there were some holes in the insulation and stuff um, but when we went down in there it was almost every bit as bad as this barn was when we started ripping into this so um, what we found was that there was uh, placing the concrete wall under one of the foundation vents where the concrete never actually came together and there was just a huge hole you could see daylight through the foundation wall and so we, we saw while we were down there um, mice just basically coming in and out at free will um, so anyway just another another plug if you're ever going to do stuff like this just do it right you know make sure you don't leave stuff like that for the next person or you know, make it so you can enjoy it, and you don't have to do all that kind of stuff, um, you know, for yourself, and and have to remediate stuff like that. So basically, we went into the crawl space, we ripped out all the old insulation in the floor, which was R19. I think code is R30, um, so it wasn't even adequate anyway. Uh, found a bunch of problems in there, but anyway, we encapsulated the uh, crawl space over there, and we're gonna have that spray foamed at the same time as this. So that was kind of something that happened. It took us about a week and a half to do that. And we've got one more thing to do in there before the spray foam guys come. Um, but anyway, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts. Uh, as soon as we get spray foam, we got to go out and start getting firewood. So um, life goes on. And uh, But anyway, thanks for watching. And um, sorry I'm rambling, but hopefully you got some good information out of this. And I'm going to take you around and give you a look-see at all the stuff that we've done. And um, the next video, I'm hoping to get some footage of the spray foam. Um, so hopefully you guys can see that coming out here in the next couple of weeks. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Take care now.